everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Nintendo Prime. It's Monday, 11 1, 2021, the beginning of November. Oh, ho, ho, November. Uh, this is a bit of a special month this month because it is the month of Thanksgiving. We have a Black Friday, all that stuff happening. And we are going to be having a very, very, very special giveaway going on here at the channel. You only need to be subscribed to enter. And what is this giveaway? Well, it's a special giveaway specifically to Thanksgiving. So here's what we're going to do. On Thanksgiving, we will announce a winner. What can you win? A couple things. One, $100 will be donated in your name to a charity of your choice. So you can choose whatever charitable destination you want it to go to. We will need to verify that charity, of course, because I don't want it to be I don't know, a scam charity where it's just going straight to your pocketbook. So we will do that behind the scenes, verify it, and obviously get the receipt and let you guys know publicly about all of that. So you guys can see that the money actually went to a proper place. Believe it or not, there's a lot of scam charities out there. So you gotta be careful, uh, but we'll do our proper vetting on that behind the scenes. Now that's obviously a really nice thing for us to do. Let's give a hundred dollars uh, to a charity, but psh, what about you guys? I mean. How does that benefit you? I could just go donate a hundred bucks to charity. I don't need your guys' permission for that. No, you're right, I don't. So not only will the winner get to choose where we are going to be sending a hundred dollars to, they also will get an opportunity to win their choice, of course, a Nintendo Switch OLED bundle. That's right, a bundle right here. Now that bundle is still being put together, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but the bundle will obviously include some games, possibly some accessories. Uh, we'll get into that bundle as it comes together. We'll kind of reveal more of that bundle every single week. But just know the winner gets $100 donated to a charity of their choice and a Nintendo Switch OLED bundle for the holidays. So even if you happen to already have a Switch OLED or a Nintendo Switch, you can gift it to a friend, to a family member this holiday season. Uh, you can re-gift it. We've had people want to re-gift when they've won in the past to another user. Uh, it, we're here to just have a jolly good time for you. Thank you so much for all of your support. I'm really glad for that. Uh, for other people who are waiting on some of the other giveaways that we've already done in the past, know that it's still happening. You're still getting your items. No worry, nothing's been canceled. Uh, we're just, you know, we got hacked. I don't know if you guys heard. So things are just still getting reorganized on the scene. But that's a very, very special giveaway. Uh, I've been planning this giveaway really for the last few months, so um, I'm really happy to announce it. So yeah, if you want to win that special holiday bundle plus $100 to a charity of your choice, let me know. All right, all you got to do is subscribe. Pretty cool. Uh, by the way, our October giveaway got extended due to the beginning hacked, so if you still want to enter for one of three copies of Metroid Dread, clickety-clack down in the description for that. All right, so we have a few stories to amend or add to uh, our earlier video today, which was supposed to be yesterday. You know, that's why you get a twin pack today. Um, the first story is that a game that was previously announced for Nintendo Switch, a third party game that people were excited for was only available as a cloud version because that is what they announced. They said, we are going to get Dying Light 2 for Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. Well, a ratings board in Hong Kong has rated three different versions of Dying Light 2 for Nintendo Switch. And those versions are the Standard Edition, the Deluxe Edition, and the Cloud Edition. Cloud Edition being the one that you have to stream. This suggests that it's possible they are looking into or have hired a studio to do a port job of Dying Light 2. Now, they did release the first Dying Light game, the Ultimate Edition, on Switch last month. And they, that played natively and actually played quite well. And it's possible that while Dying Light 2 is more modern and obviously much more graphically intense, that they have discovered that, hey, just because it's more graphically intense doesn't mean we can't get it to run at an acceptable rate locally on Switch. And they might not have knew that 100% for sure at the time. So while Dying Light 2 does not come out till next year for Nintendo Switch, it appears because rating boards things are like pretty super legit. They only rate things they actually get their hands on. Um, it sounds like we might be actually getting a localized version of Dying Light 2, and that is always a bonus. Now, I'd rather have cloud versions of games than not have them at all, but when an opportunity comes around to actually get it natively on the platform, I want that to exist as well. In fact, 
It's one of the sad things about Kingdom Hearts and all the Kingdom Hearts games we have coming. Like, yeah, most of those games could easily run natively on Switch. They're just not doing it. Or shame on you for that, by the way. You should just do it right the first time. Our second story actually is just to let you know a little bit of um, an update. If you guys need more pro controllers, you're playing Mario Party Superstars or whatever the case might be. It looks like they have got a temporary, potentially permanent, we'll see, $10 price drop at GameStop and Amazon, potentially other retailers as well. We'll put an affiliate link for Amazon down in the description, but you can just check it out. Um, usually when they get these $10 price drops, they tend to sell out. Uh, so, you know, try to hop on this if you're interested and just want an extra Pro Controller or need a new one. Uh, Switch Pro Controllers are generally pretty good controllers. I've had my gripes with them in the past, but in general, um, they're pretty much the best of the best when it comes to Switch. Uh, so, yeah, they're there if you want it. Our last story is just, I feel like we make this story every year and I complain every single year. Nintendo has added something new. They have added something new to the holiday season. That's right, we have a new Nintendo Switch bundle! Woo! Yeah, baby! Bundle it up! Except we don't. It's the exact same bundle we've gotten before with three months of Nintendo Switch Online put in. That's right, they are repackaging up Nintendo Switch OG with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and three months of Nintendo Switch Online. Exactly what they did last holiday. They've been packaging Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in since the very first holiday. And there's ways to look at this as, oh, Nintendo is just milking the hell out of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe because it just keeps selling. Uh, another way to look at it is maybe they want to clear out stock of the Nintendo Switch base model so they don't have any more and they're just going to have the OLED moving forward for that model. I don't know. They do this every holiday. So I'm making any assumptions other than Nintendo's just doing what they always do is baffling. It's also weird that hey, it feels like the right time for an Animal Crossing bundle. You just had new DLC come out. You know how much sales of DLC could increase if you bundled Animal Crossing in with new Switches this holiday? I'm just saying it feels like a really, really intelligent idea, which is exactly why Nintendo's not doing it. They're just, it, it feels weird. This is, I think, one of the first Nintendo systems that we're now like almost five years in, and it's been the exact same holiday bundle. I can't remember another Nintendo platform that every holiday was the same official bundle it's so weird but you know whatever what are you gonna do this is just nintendo being nintendo anyways folks thank you guys so much for tuning in you guys are amazing and who knows what else crazy is gonna happen this month um i'm just really i, I like the holiday season in general october and when it comes to halloween is actually my favorite holiday uh, my fiance's favorite holiday happens to be christmas i think my mom's favorite holiday is probably thanksgiving uh, I think this whole entire holiday season, October all the way through December, is just nice. There's a lot of family time in there, um, a lot of good grub, even though I shouldn't have any of it because I'm trying to lose weight. Uh, but it's just a lot of fun times and a lot of honest times. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will catch you guys uh, tomorrow, I think. We might do a live stream still tonight. I, I don't want to promise anything. So you are getting this video, so we'll see what happens. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next video.